yet another three-string cigar box guitar lesson it's suzy q by the great credence clearwater revival we are tuned to open g this is a three-string cigar box guitar that's an a string tuned down to g that's a d string or fourth string to normal to d and a third string to normal to g g d G, probably the most common of all the three-string cigar box guitar tunings. That's just how it turned out. You can use a capo to change keys. So, capo on two would bring you up to A, capo on three would bring you up to B, and five would bring you up to C, and so forth. So, that's why this one is so common. A lot of people ask me, why is the open G tuning so common on a three-string cigar box guitar? And that's pretty much the gist of it in a nutshell. So let's get right to it. We're gonna start out this song with the main riff. This is all single note riff, no chords at this point. So you're gonna start up here on the first string, seventh fret, and then you're gonna go down to the second fret, and then zero, or open. So it's seven, two, zero. That's your first string. I'm using my thumb and first finger. You can use a pick or whatever fingers you prefer. All right, so pinky up here on one seven, first finger on one two, and then you're gonna play the open first string. I'm using my thumb here on that part for those of you keeping score. Then you're gonna do a pull off. Then you're gonna do a open second string and hammer to two. That's called a hammer on. Then you're gonna immediately after that do a pull off. Glacially slow. Make sure you choke those notes. Bam, bam, bam. And you can see this hand doing the choking. real easy it's just bar chords so when you get to that next point you're gonna go play that riff I'm using my third finger with my second finger on top for extra insurance to make sure they're all pressed down so that's barring on the second fret you can use your first finger second finger whatever so I'm using my thumb on the big string and I'm barring on the second fret and then I'm using my first and second fingers to play the top two strings, the first and second. So 
same thing on five and four. Ooh, that wasn't so good. So the last note of that whole riff is two, two, second string, second fret. most of the song right there you're going to be repeating that several times during the verse then there's a guitar solo there's actually several so this is in a minor key so we're going to play the regular old pentatonic which is going to be 12 and then 9 on all the strings it's just one of them you don't have to stick here the whole time go up here to the first finger on the 12th fret and your third finger two frets up on the 14th don't forget those in-between notes so now you have 14 and 12 but you have in between 13 so it's 14 13, 12. 14, 13, 12. 14, 13, 12. And you can just improvise in that scale. Then you have 12 and you have 9. On all three strings. you can do with these tiny little scales. You even have that scale right there, so that's going to be seven and nine. of space to do these improvs when you get up to here you're on the 12th fret well that's the same thing as so that's going to be one two and obviously one zero and two two and two zero and three two and three zero which is the same thing as this i did a minute ago so oops up here you have a lot of options there for your soloing and there's a lot of soloing on this there's a lot of jamming i guess you would say all right so once we get to that point you have this next lick so what i'm doing is first finger on one nine to third finger on one twelve And this one right here is pretty cool, a little bit tricky. Second finger is gonna be on the eighth fret. Slide up to nine. First finger is on one seven. And then you're gonna go down to, what is that, two five. And then you're gonna be on three nine. Hammer to three, or three seven, sorry, to three nine. That's that whole lick.
very cool, very funky, and you were still in the same key. This is all pentatonic, so it all fits together. And then it goes back to the verse. <laughs> the exact same riff that we did before. After that verse, there's one more lick, which is kind of similar to the previous one. A little bit more intricate. So first finger is on 1-9. Third finger is on 1-12, and you're going to slide way up and then kill it which means mute. And I'm sliding as far as I can go. Then we go back to the main riff after that, and it kind of fades out. So have fun with that. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one. Getting ready for a heavy Christmas season. This is number 19. 19 years. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time.